Okay. Don't let my energy fool you. I'm not feeling Will Steel. I'll, I'll get to that uh, in a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to go through this. I got this email and I looked to confirm it again. Uh, you know, last year I had like 700 and something, 751 uh, subscribers, right? And then they took subscribers away from me when I started to really open up. Um, truth teller, right? Oh, I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Right, I gotta be careful. But but go to Rumble. Let me just uh, say this: go to Rumble. Like, if you really want to know everything, I mean, everything, you go to Rumble. I have to remember to put a link down below in, in the description. But it says that I have 600 subscribers again, uh, and I mean this just doesn't make sense, right? I have 175,000 views. But only 600 subscribers, so you know something happened. True that? True that. Okay, but uh, I almost forgot. Like, what was it, the reward? Every time I get an extra 100 subscribers, like, every time I, so I got to 400, 500, I read a children's story. I forgot how I came up with this idea. But, stay tuned for that. I'll read, I would love to read, my. you know, my favorite is uh, three little pigs but I'm gonna find the children's story if you have uh, if you have any suggestions on a children's story that I should read in my way uh, put it in the uh, comments comment box and while I say that don't forget to like and subscribe because 175,000 views but only it says officially I have a six I have 608 total subscribers that just doesn't but I appreciate the ones I, I'd rather have the 600 who watch well really let's just say 427 people who watch me uh, I appreciate you guys and I feel more comfortable talking to you guys like that because I know I'm not I'm not welcoming I got so much going on in my life anyway let me get to it you want to know something crazy uh, I'm talking to my laptop right with he headphones on but my headphones is not connected to the laptop so why do you have headphones on Carlos because I have a bootleg phone it's a long story but I'm waiting on a very imp <laughs> sorry I thought of something very 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 important phone call I'm waiting on an important phone call and I don't want any delays you know because sometimes my phone goes in and out and I can't hear them so I just want to have the Bluetooth ready boom hello feel me so that's why I got the headphones so it's connected to my phone not to my laptop okay what was that other video I did uh, Ronald Reagan what am I thinking yeah what am I thinking I think it was called what am I thinking this is gonna be kinda like that I'm going to be talking about random subjects and conversations I've had in the past two days or three, right? Um, but most of all, I want to do a video for believers. Believers. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, Carlos? Believers. Believers in Christ. Okay. I want to talk to you guys, but. This message is for everybody and those who are nosy, welcome, because you get to find out something very personal uh, uh, about me and my feelings uh, about me and use it how you want to use it. Okay, uh, where do I start? I'm not going to go in any order. The question that really resonated was, and I still haven't done any research uh, I got a question from a friend if I've seen uh, the movie called Deliverance. I don't know anything about it. Nothing about it. I can't tell you one thing about it. Uh, but then it, it, it went into a topic of portals. And I put a short when I did a road trip two years ago. I did a, I, I, there's a short I have in there where um, it just felt like I was in the portal 
And do I believe in the portals? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm going to work on a video, so I won't waste too much time on that. But I'm going to do a video about portals. Um, but I understood something after watching. Uh, and the deliverance. Oh, do I recommend? I saw a video where a lady did not recommend for you to see it. And I respect her opinion. Um, I, I've gained so much knowledge off of watching quality, like TV show like Evil. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yep. Uh, uh, I think that's a quality show. Uh, Evil. Um, and then also, I found myself later in life, and I am about to watch on Tubi. I didn't know that there was a season of The Exorcist, right? So I'm scaring some people off. I'm scaring the believers away, right? I'm scaring you guys away. I'm not saying to go rush and do it. I'm not rushing to do it. I have to be ready for it. But I have been in such battles in my life. And I did not have the tools on how to handle it. And you can tell me easily to pray but how do I know that God isn't saying, look, I let her ask you this for a reason, right? And there has to be a responsibility. I like Star Wars. You know, a lot, of, a lot of Jedis were upset because they didn't know all these ways of the dark side existed. Okay. Uh, so, I'm kind of curious uh, about it. I've learned so much just watching Evil. I've learned a lot watching The Exorcist. I think all three. Well, I've watched three of them. And then even the Russell Crowe movie, which I'm missing one that he did recently. Uh, when I mean recently was like July or something like that. Um, that was The Pope's Exorcist. Um, the name can really, you know, because we... Us non-believers are built on fear. And thrive in fear but us believers know our, and, and there's a responsibility he knows your heart right so he knows that I could be talking to you right now right you can judge me all you want but he knows where I'm coming from so that's how I look at it and I look at these stuff with the energy of I must learn because I am witnessing uh, very cruel things uh, uh, in the world. I want to say some other stuff, but I'm going to say it right there. So what does that have to do with portals, Carlos? I don't understand. Make, make, make it make sense. Okay. So if you're not respecting and knowing who you are personally and you're feeling, if you don't understand where your power comes from, if you don't un if you don't have a whole armor of God uh, with you or, or on you, um, then you're not gonna make it. You're just proving to yourself, yourself. You're proving to yourself that you can watch it. There's no problems. I didn't see anything, but you're allowing right there. That's a portal right there. You're allowing now. Your mind is programmed to have these bad dreams. Or you it's programmed now you've seen something that you're probably not ready for and then as you walk uh, now all of a sudden you don't want to go this way you want to go this way but you would have never made that decision if you watched if uh, you never watched this movie so there's the portal right there and then that's the demon the demonic way the, de the devil's uh, plan is to wait for you to be vulnerable and that's that's the way and then um, your DNA as they're already doing your DNA is changed to something that would have never happened but when you are strong and your faith is 100% in him and you know who you are for full of love and uh, you understand your mission uh, still, like even me, I'll, I'll go with caution. It's just, it's not an excitement. It's just, I've, 
well, my time in Italy, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it live. And uh, it felt good. I could tell anybody. And I'm much better now because these people look at me like, yeah, there is something wrong with Carlos, isn't there? But I have my people who were there with me who were like, you shouldn't have told them because they're not ready. And because we both saw what we saw, you know? So I know it's nothing that they can say to change my mind. But if it was just me uh, and I wasn't confident, I didn't have the tools, um, something can be recalibrated mentally, if you guys understand me. Do I have time for this? Give it a little story and then I want to move on. I think to two more things and I'll cut it. Okay. Take a pause, intermission. Uh, give us a story. I'm going to give you a subtle story of what I've seen. A subtle story. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't ready to say this. Okay. I told, I, I said this story before. Um, uh, I, I was in the hospital last year, or was it this year? This year, last year, last year, this year, uh, because of pneumonia. And uh, this was in Italy. This was in Rome. Yeah? Yeah, this was in Rome. And, um, uh, um, at one point I had a roommate the last week I was there I was there for two or three weeks I really only had to be there that's a whole other story um, so uh, the roommate came in there didn't speak any English and uh, couldn't walk it was all messed up messed up and um, could not walk when I mean can't walk they had to carry him right well I see this dude get up and walk and say um, where's the bathroom or something like that what did he say I forgot what he said Where's the? but let's just say he said where's the bathroom and I says <laughs> I says right here man he says nah 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 where's the good bathroom I said oh shit I don't, <laughs> I don't know and I'm looking at him walk I said you speak English he's like no I don't speak English I said you're talking to me in English man and he's ah he was ah and he walks on out of there I buzzed the buzzer uh, and then the that was the funniest thing the the nurse comes in doo -doo 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 -doo. He said, yes mr I said yeah I'm I'm blowing it not for me I'm blowing it for says, did you help him where where is he? Where is he? That's the question. And he ducked into the art bathroom and looked and had to run all the way down the hallway. He was way down there, right? Well, then the next day, um, it could have been just me. The doctors came in, his doctors, and said, can I ask you, you saw him walking yesterday and talking English. So then they start speaking to him in English and he didn't like he didn't understand what they were saying so i knew something was up with that and then there was a lady across the uh, across um, the hallway in the room across from us she would come and she just had that uh, ghostly look first she was just hovering looking at him and then she looks at me and then she was just at the doorway and then Stay there for five, ten minutes, and then she'll walk back to her room. So that was just a prequel of like, oh, all oh shit, you know. Oh, by the way, like he was paralyzed. I forgot what that was. He had, he had paralyzation down there, or something like this, right? So and did not speak English. And sometimes I would talk English to him, just like I know you're fooling me, man, but. And he was just really annoyed. Stop speaking to me. Speak to me in Italian. That I mean, he was livid. Okay. Next. Um, I watched the debates uh, last night. I was going to talk about Tyreek Hill. But I'll save that. 
I was going to talk about, but I'm going to end it with, because uh, I didn't expect to share that story. Uh, I watched the debates last night to stick to the subject. And as I'm watching the debates, I remember, do you guys still watch me? I remember the couple that sat next to me from London. Where were we? Oh, we were going to London. Uh, um, and they caught me. They caught me. My mind was elsewhere. As like the stories I was telling you, it was like, wow, the stuff that I've experienced, I was just recapping, just sitting there. Okay. Um, and we we ended up talking about about Trump. So this is this is for you if you're still if you're still watching me. Okay. Uh, with the horses. The one with the horses and I forgot what else we talked about. Okay. Uh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. You ever have a good sneeze? <laughs> okay. Um, um, tr- the the debate Trump and uh, Kamala Camila. Uh, let me tell you what I gathered from that. As I'm watching him, I say I have a lot in common with this dude, with Trump. Which, let's remind everybody, everybody loved him. Yellow, black, white, brown, purple. They all loved Trump. They loved him. They loved him. Everybody loves me, Carlos. Everybody. Loved. They loved him. Right? Until... With the wave of the wand from the Democratic Party, with the wave of the wand and Russia Gate, he's openly saying, "Look the shit up." With, the, with, with just a, and just oh, and by the way, when you speak, that's a spell also. So just this, we're such zombies. Okay, how does it relate to you, Carlos? As I'm watching him, people who don't know me think I'm arrogant. Okay, and the people who do know me can't stay away from me oh well let me change that because the people who think i'm arrogant can't stay away from me either uh but they feel comfortable with me the people who know me i mean there's a comfort there's a comfort that there's a trust i feel it in my heart right uh and i see how people can who doesn't know uh can have that same assumption with uh, with Trump, I mean, I have watched him uh, pretty uh, intently, and this is like the most I've ever really spoken on him. And I see his family like I I, I wish I had that love that he he has. I mean, they're running to him, the granddaughter, the grandkids, and all that. Whoever else, they're running to him. Um, I'm looking. Okay, so he's racist. Right, I'm looking at packed stadiums in Harlem, and Kamala, who she doesn't want to answer that about being black. You got about ten people there, and that's media, you know. Um, that comforted me because whether you hate me or love me, you 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 need to know what Carlos is doing at all times and. That kind of recharged me a little bit. And because the same way, when I speak up for myself, what does she say? Extreme. Man, you're a bit extreme. I get that all the time. Wow, yeah. Car- oh, did you see him? Did you see Carlos? I told you. Like, uh, like I'm out. I feel outnumbered. But I understand. Also, to the believers, uh, I feel the same way with also he, he was shot I mean first there was no respect on him almost being killed uh, there was um, there was no respect for his life no respect at all for his life and again as they've said they apped up the Democrats amped it up and whomever but mostly Democrats have have amped up these false lies 
and the things that I have been accused of uh, I, I almost died I had two days to live all the videos are down like if you were and, and there's people who investigated me I'll get to that um, um, I almost died and it just feels like today there's no appreciation like we still have you Carlos I'm um, well from from when I'm talking about the naysayer the the zombies the what do you call them energy vampires all that uh, but the ones I did I'm not talking about you guys the my 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 click uh, but like I sometimes forget that yeah, that's right I, that's right I almost was not here you know um, For it to say what well, there was glass at first it was like glass that shattered and hit his ear there was just no respect for it uh, the last time somebody has made an assassination tip it was Ronald, it was Ronald Reagan wasn't it if I'm not if I'm, I'm going thinking off the top of my head um, so why do I say that because oh there's a reason there's a reason and then also believers uh, how many times does Trump bring up God? I, whether you agree or not, how many times does he bring up God? And how many times does the Democrats, all of them put together, does it compare to just, I watched both um, convention, uh, what do you call it, Demo the, uh, nominations, what do you call it? I watched both of them. And I'm comforted by somebody who's comfortable but you got to be careful of course but I'm comforted by people who are um, comfortable talk speaking about God uh, because and let's equate it we took God out of our language and um, does it seem like things have just been more intense there's no love um, it's every man for himself uh, lies are uh, more stronger than the truth. Uh, hold on. Kamala admires this dude as I was watching the debates. And as I'm looking at Kamala, she reminded me of a few people that I know uh, that are harsh, a few people who are harsh, but this has happened to where uh, it's political. I don't know, sometimes I'm in the zone and um, I know there's a trap being set for me uh, but I'm in the zone and um, they're holding their laugh they're holding their laugh because I, you know, they're, they're, they got a plan for me uh, so I saw that with watching the debates also uh, with, with her and uh, with her and uh, Trump Oh, and then the one against three, uh, the David, that dude, this dude is a sarcasm, sarcastic. I'm sarcastic all the time. Anybody who knows me can tell you I'm sarcastic all the time and people have to really look at me and people choose to say, no, he was serious. He was serious. They want something bad of me. Right. And there's some people who are like, are you serious, Carlos? Like, are you, I don't know if you're joking or if you're. Yeah, that's sarcasm. You know what I mean? And it's like that with me. It's never one-on-one -on -one with me. It's always uh, me against uh, five or something like that. And it gets tiring. Sometimes it can get me, especially if I'm not doing well, f health, feeling well or something like that. Uh, and then, so just watching this debate, I got a whole bunch out of it just from not even the, the from the, the, the debate. The last thing I want to say is... Um, uh, research nobody research anymore the research that they're doing is they're going to false publication they see something written all they got to do is type in Trump is a racist and there's an article about how Trump is a racist 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 there's no proof and like I saw articles about it is it true I um ran into how do I say this I saw some people hmm how do I do this I saw some people who believe one thing about me right 
and um, I, I said my part of the story, right? And I welcome you to research. How can we research? It's over. Nope. You could go to the court case and then you should be able to watch the video yourself. And then I said, but do me a favor. Call me. Call me. Here's my number. Call me and tell me what you think. And it was, I got a text message from, message from family members, right? What was this about? I was just talking about this. What was this about? Um, oh, oh, Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom. Somebody in family got me. I said, ain't nothing he, ain't, ain't nothing he has done in life. And now he's, uh, he's vetoing, um, uh, the bill for uh, the migrants, right? 400, $450 billion a year for migrants, while the citizens we get Nathan, Nathan. And um, so he vetoed this bill and it's like, see, he does do something good, Carlos. I said, this shouldn't have been in the bill, a bill in the first place, right? But I'm saying this live, or, or, and I'm gonna end it right here. I'm saying this live. Why did he do it? Out of the thousands of things that he has done, like repeal, uh, uh, he, he, he vetoed uh, Californians. We were going to have Medicare for all. We all voted for Medicare for all, for, Cali for Californians, for, Cali for the people in California. Vetoed that, right? Okay. But why did he do it? Why did he veto this, the migrant thing? Because he's going to be running for president. You heard it here.